Welcome back to State of the Union. This morning, Finland formally moved to join NATO and set aside decades of neutrality. The decision the country's president told Vladimir Putin on a call this weekend was a direct result of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. NATO expansion along Russia's western border is the exact opposite of what Putin said he was trying to accomplish with the war. And he told Finland's president this weekend that he was making a mistake. Here with me now, the president of Finland, Sauli Ninista. Mr. President, thank you so much for joining me again. And just days before Russia invaded Ukraine, we spoke and you told me you did not see any reason for, quote, dramatic sudden changes to Finland's relationship with NATO. Here we are just three months later and you've just announced you're going to formally apply to join the NATO alliance. Is this because you're worried Russia could attack you as well? Not necessarily, but two things to place. First, Russia tried to deny any enlargement of NATO. And that changed, in a way, very much our position here. Uh, so far, we had thought that, OK, we are non-aligned of our own will. But when they said that, that meant that we do not have any will there left. So that was the first stage, and surely 20... Fourth of uh, February, when they made a huge attack to Ukraine, that changed quite a lot. Uh, well, it showed that they are ready to attack to an independent neighboring country. So you were worried that you could be attacked? Not necessarily, but uh, I would say that uh, things were changing also. Undoubtedly, and what we see now, uh, Europe, the world, is more divided. There's not very much room for uh, non-aligned mm. in between. So that was uh, also what we were thinking. Uh, I do not believe that they planned, no, any attack on Finland. Not then, nor now. A few years ago, Vladimir Putin said when he looks at your country, he sees friends, but warned that if you join, join NATO, he will see an enemy instead. I know you spoke with the Russian president yesterday. Does he now consider Finland an enemy? And how concerned are you that he may retaliate against you before your process continues and before you can fully qualify to be a member of NATO? Actually, why I called him, I wanted just to confirm that now the situation is changed. We are going to apply membership. And uh, in the same way, he confirmed that he thinks it's a mistake. We are not threatening you. Uh, altogether, the discussion was very, would I say, calm and cool. And uh, he didn't repeat those threats he had earlier and his people had been telling that is that uh, if Finland joins, that means some kind of contra steps, uh, military contra steps, whatever that meant. But he didn't repeat it now, so I was uh, uh, not necessarily surprised, but uh, it was, like I said, quite calm and cool. Did he say anything that did surprise you? Actually, the surprise was that he took it so calmly. Do you, do you really believe uh, that? But... Um, that, that his tone actually will match well, how he feels? Well, I was about to come to that. <laughs> uh, that was something I was about to come. Uh, in security policy, especially uh, talking with uh, Russia, uh, you have to keep in mind that what is said uh, doesn't uh, mean that you shouldn't be all the time uh, quite, uh, well, aware and uh, follow up what really is happening. But so far, uh, it seems that uh, <clears throat> there's no immediate problems coming. You need the unanimous approval of all 30 NATO members in order to join the alliance. But on Friday, uh, the Turkish president, Erdogan, said he does not look, quote, positively toward Finland and Sweden 
joining. I know you said you're confused by his reaction, but do you think Turkey actually could block you from joining NATO? Uh, first, why I was astonished uh, was because I had a telephone discussion with the President Erdogan that it's about one month ago, and then he said that they will uh, estimate, uh, well, positively our, our aim to apply membership, and now it changed. Uh, I believe that there will be a lot of discussions still, and uh, I'm not that worried about that. You're not? You think that ultimately Turkey will join the other NATO countries in approving your application? It's very obvious that they demand some, some kind of discussion uh, with uh, Sweden and uh, partly with Finland, too. Maybe they will enlarge that discussion to other countries. We don't know. That's dealing with their <coughs> PKK movement. You spoke with President Zelensky of Ukraine just a few days ago, and as you know, he's extremely frustrated that NATO has not allowed Ukraine to join the alliance. Once Finland is part of NATO, will you advocate for Ukraine to be offered membership as well? Uh, actually, it's not in our hands, but uh, I just want to tell that, uh, that President Zelensky was very positive with our membership. Maybe he sees that uh, it's good that NATO shows that it is possible to enlarge and maybe waiting for, uh, for the future for them to try to do the same. President but at the moment, we hear that it is not uh, a solution. President Sauli Ninista, thank you so much. It's nice to see you again. As you said, a lot has changed in uh, the three months since we spoke last, and I hope to speak to you again soon. <laughs> Uh, let's hope that uh, if uh, a lot is changing again, it would change in a better way.